recipe for eggnog kringla. Eggnog kringla are really delicious little cookies. They're so nice and tender with that nice, wonderful taste of nutmeg. I'm gonna start off with three cups of flour. And to that, I'm going to add a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and about a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Whoops, I dropped the nutmeg right into the flour. Ah, nice smell the nutmeg. We're gonna actually put some of the nutmeg on top of the cookies after they're baked. Okay, so we'll just put that aside for now. Give that a good stir. Okay. I think I said three cups of flour. It's actually four cups of flour. So put that away for now. We're gonna put the flour aside. And what we also have here is one cup of eggnog. I've got the golden eggnog. You can use any one you want. One egg, three quarters of a cup of butter, and two cups of sugar. Oh, one and a half cups of sugar. I'm getting my measurements all messed up today. All right, so there goes the butter. And we'll start that creaming. And then I'll gradually add the sugar to it. Now we'll add the egg. Give it a little bit of a scrape down. These mixers are wonderful, but they do need help sometimes. Just a little bit. But I'd be lost without it. Okay, let's go. Now I'll alternate the flour and the eggnog into the batter. another cookie that's good to make the batter the day before because the colder the uh, cookie dough, the easier it is to form the cookies. The rest of that goes in. And now the rest of the flour. I'm going to put it into another bowl because I need my mixer bowl for something else. Then as soon as I get this into this other bowl, I'm going to cover it up and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. Minimum four hours, but like I said, I like to make it the day before. It's just so much easier to work with. And then after it's been chilled, I will come back and I'll show you how to form them, how to bake them, and how to finish them off. Okay. 
cover it in plastic in the refrigerator. Here's a batch of the eggnog kringle dough that I made yesterday. It's very, very cold. It's great. I'm going to put a little bit of flour on here. I don't want a lot on here. I can add it if I need it. Got some baking sheets and a teaspoon. And I'm going to, there's my oven at 350. Shape it into a, a ball, about that big. Now what I want to do is I want to make this into a rope of approximately six inches. I don't want it too, too fat either. I prefer it thinner to fatter because it's, it's got baking powder in it, so it's going to puff. So let's see what we have here. We have just about six inches exactly. So what I'm going to do is all you do is make a circle and two ends that stick out. Almost looks like one of the ribbons that you wear for causes. And then we're just going to keep on going until I fill up the cookie sheets. And if you roll out a piece and it's longer than six inches, cut it. That's almost exactly six inches. I'm doing this pretty well here. So I've only formed cookies and filled up two trays to show you. I've got approximately a little bit more than half of the dough left. I'll do these later. You don't need to watch me do these, all of them right now. Uh, you'll get about, this is 30, so you'll get about 60 to 65 cookies out of this batch. Into a 350 oven for six to eight minutes, maybe a minute or two more. You wanna, when you look at the cookie, you wanna see a little bit of browning just starting on the bottom. And then you'll take them out and cool them, and then I'll show you how to finish them off. Our Kringla are out of the oven, and now we're about to finish them. They're all cooled off. So I'm going to dust them with some powdered sugar. You don't want it too heavy. I mean, you, you do want to see their shape. These freeze very well. You just wouldn't put the powdered sugar and the nutmeg on until after you were about after they were taken out of the freezer and you were going to serve them. Now our nutmeg. I can see the little specks of the nutmeg in the dough. And that's kind of pretty too. And now the nutmeg, oh my God, the smell of nutmeg is just unbelievable. So I'll finish off the other tray with, with the uh, nutmeg and then I'll bake off the rest that I have the leftover dough. Try them, they're delicious and they're a holiday favorite.